I'm here backstage at Whitney Eve. This is so exciting because I have the very gorgeous and tall Whitney Port here, designer. Yes, hello. You've conquered music, you've conquered Broadway and television. What's next? I don't know. Maybe Tony needs a Tony. Maybe it's time to go. <laughs> Melissa was amazing. Melissa was really great. I love the pop of red. I'm a huge fan of Chato Ralph Rucci. It's, it's just he's a genius and makes exquisite, beautiful, beautiful clothing. He is. Now for the small women like us. It's a little tough, you know? Yeah, I know. <laughs> now I am artistically challenged and I, I can barely put normal nail polish on. How do you do a stripe? And Ralph has a wonderful book that just came out, oh, too. Oh, the most beautiful book. Oh, yes. I, I went to the book party. I, I was there with you, and yes. we were playing with the bunny rabbit together. Yes. <laughs> Brad Pitt and Julia Roberts were both turned down for soap operas. Author Isla Mal has compiled a fascinating list of stars who might not be where they are today had they said yes to some early career choices. And Nicolette Sheridan showed up to audition for Desperate Housewives, thinking she would go for the role of Marsha Cross's uptight character, Brie. She came in wearing a suit with no top underneath. She came in for the prissy character and wound up playing the town tramp. When you heard that Michael Costello was going to make a dress out of socks, did you have any idea what to expect? And, well, my first reaction was like, what? Yeah. I'm here right. with the amazing and legendary Kelly Catron. Translation, I've been here too long. No, yeah. <laughs> I think so, yes. Well, now you're a big TV star these days. Really? It doesn't feel like it this week. We're all huge fans of Ralph's, but he told me personally that he's a huge fan of yours. Oh, how nice. Yours. What was it like working with the fabulous Miss Piggy? Miss Piggy, what a diva, but I mean in a good way. And this idol judge is a Baywatch babe? It could have been. Eventually they brought in Pamela Anderson and they asked her, would you mind playing 90% of your scenes in a bathing suit? And she said, I'd work naked if I could. 